photosensitivity warning during the times listed on screen. Hello, hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. What was I again? Right. Theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Yes, hello all. Thank you for your well wishes. I too hope this stream will be fun. But yes, I hope you are doing well as well. But yes, so, business. Fireworks have been happening a lot recently. And so it's been a bit of an issue. But yes, audio quality obsessive that I am. I've been reluctant to stream while fireworks are going on. Also because I wasn't sure how my dog would react to them. Um, he's doesn't like them, but at least he doesn't uh, feel the need to make his opinions known about that. But yeah, so... I don't know. Probably won't be too terrible, but if the fireworks do start again in earnest, and I've been led to believe that they might very well, but yeah, if they do start again in earnest, I don't know. I'm not going to like it. <laughs> but... Even more so than that, I'm not going to like doing a stream, or not, I'm not going to like not doing a stream this week. So, let's see. So tonight, Arc Nights. Next week, hopefully we should be seeing the usual schedule. Yeah, again, next week we'll not have 4th of July, so there should be fewer explosions to have to worry about. So that will be nice. But yes. So, let's see, anything else to be said? Not a whole lot, really. But yeah. Again, just... Delayed streams throughout most of this week due to concerns about the uh, fireworks potentially compromising the audio quality. It probably wouldn't have been that bad. At the very least, I might have... Might have been good for me to do a recording test or something like that instead of simply assuming that they would make the streaming situation untenable. But... You live and you learn, I suppose. But yes, anyway. So, Arc Nights tonight. We might not be going for super long, but we will see. I'm a little bit tired this evening. We will see. But yes, so next week we should be seeing some more Arc Nights on Wednesday and I believe on Friday. Currently, that is what we are expecting. But yes. Um, so yes, Arc Nights... Yes, 8.30 p.m. Central Time for the Wednesday stream, and then 9 p.m. Central Time for the Friday stream. Yes. Again, I will try to see about... Yeah, I don't know. I have probably don't need to push it back as far as 9 on Friday. I think I could probably manage, though again, I don't want to rush too much. But yes, the streams that I have to rush to get set up are usually not very fun for me, and so I assume they're probably not all that fun for you all either. At the very least, I don't look back on them fondly. But yes. So, you know, I'll do what I can to give myself a comfortable amount of time to prepare without feeling too harried. But, yeah. Ideally, I would like to start a little bit earlier on Fridays, and probably a little bit earlier on Wednesdays, too. I think I could make that happen. But yes, anyway. So, that is that. So, on to the game. But yes, historically, I've tended to talk about topics related to the game in the sort of pre-game area. But yeah, I think going forward, for the sake of... Yeah, for the sake of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Clarity, perhaps? I don't know. But yes, for the sake of keeping game-related information in the game section, for the, for the sake of those of us who are using chapters on the YouTube video, yes, I think I will, as best as I can, try to keep the sort of stream business to the introduction, then game business into in the, you know, game. But yes, so those of you who have been following me, may know that we've been having some issues. We've been struggling with slugs, 
and uh, I resolved to do a little bit of practice off stream because I wanted to find a strategy that would work. And we've got good news and bad news. So the good news is we found a strategy that works. Uh, the bad news is I accidentally beat the mission. <laughs> but yeah, that's not a terrible thing in and of itself. I would have liked to have been streaming in order to have my, you know, reaction captured. And since I wasn't streaming, I didn't react too, too much, but oh well. So yeah, so I don't know. I guess there's not too, too much to be said about that. I think we'll, for the sake of demonstrating it. Also, one other thing. This is something new from uh, new-ish. Yeah. When I went over auto deploy before, this feature hadn't been implemented. Basically, you can repeat auto deploys a number of times, up to six, contingent on you having the appropriate amount of sanity, of course. But yes, to have the missions auto play it consecutively. But yeah, there's no additional cost associated with this. It just allows for a little bit more efficient uh, automation on your part if you're grinding. But yes, I have made use of that quite a bit. But yes, anyway, so I made some adjustments, adjustments to the team and to the strategy in general. I didn't really want to do that, you know, ideally I wanted to stick with the team that I had on the first run through the first attempt at this because we did have success. We didn't have a perfect success, but we did have success. But yeah, likewise, I was reluctant to swap out any operators for ones that were simply, you know, higher rarity or anything like that, which is why I didn't use, uh, which is why I didn't use Exusii in the final attempt or in the successful attempt, but I did, uh, use Yato, who is also a six star. But yeah, essentially because I decided that I just didn't want to allow the slugs to consume that much additional time. Because I do intend to beat this game someday, or at least, you know, get through it. But yes, I would like to uh, get through the story at some point, and I don't want to be on this level for another another day. And considering it took me about uh, two hours of work to get the to get the mission done with, or to come up with the strategy that we use to get the mission done with, yeah, I feel like it probably would have been another stream. <laughs> so anyway. Let's get into things. Target confirmed. But yeah, so the strategy, one of the bigger changes is that we've positioned uh, our uh, vanguards more aggressively. But yeah. It occurs to me, I didn't go over my notes. I did take notes on how I beat it, but I didn't go over them again. But yeah, so I'll have to... Uh, recollect as best I can. But yeah. So the biggest difference, as I had mentioned, was uh Kieran R Yot or Kieran X? I don't know. Yato. Monster Hunter Yato. Who is a rapid redeploy operator. We used her before, we used her during the uh Monster Hunter event. And she has been uh, a big boon to us. But yeah. I don't have a whole lot of rapid redeploy operators. I've got a few of them, but I don't have any others that I can recall offhand that specialize in doing damage, or at least none that are, like, leveled appropriately to contribute to this mission in a meaningful way. But yes, I do have one, but she is more of a defense specialist, and so I don't think she'd be able to take out the slugs in a timely manner. But yes, the use of Yato and her second skill did allow us to get through the slugs very quickly, very easily. But yeah, another change that we you have you're seeing here is I switched to having three medics, and moreover, I switched to having a multi-target medic. Yeah, that was probably another of the bigger, uh, bigger, bigger uh, changes. Bigger, yeah. One of the more beneficial things that I did, basically. But yeah. So the main reason for that was, you know, the slugs have a radius to their explosions. So when they go off, they hit uh, multiple targets. 
And so having just one or having a single target medic, while the single target medic is typically able to heal a single unit faster and more efficiently, the problem is that they aren't able to heal multiple targets at once. So if, you know, two units, three units get hit with an explosion, then they're having to split up their heals among them. And though they'd be able to heal any one of those units faster than a multi-target medic, they wouldn't be able to heal all three of them in a, uh, yeah, they wouldn't be able to heal all three of them in a timely manner. But yeah, broadly speaking, broadly speaking, um, Yato has taken up the role that, uh, yeah, the role that Astesia had. But yes, the fact that she is a, uh, rapid redeploy operator has made it, uh, made her more effective at that role, certainly, because she is more easily able to be picked up and dropped off somewhere else as needed. And the very high burst damage that she does, in addition to her low cost, makes her very effective for, uh, being able to do this without having to invest too much time or too many resources. And so yeah, with that, the mission's basically already over. Hun Cyrus will continue to do her work here for a while, because we don't have anyone else to assist her. She's out of range of, uh... Yeah, out of range of, uh... Fire Whistle. Him a few with the staff here. Sip. Yeah, like I said, I've been a little I was a, definitely reluctant to make use of higher rarity operators when it wasn't uh Yeah, I was Yeah. I was reluctant to make use of specifically higher rarity operators because it hasn't been sort of a you know any restriction that I have placed on myself. But I do feel one of the reasons that I like this game is that I feel that it's a game that's very accommodating for, uh, yeah, as gotcha games go, it is a game that is very accommodating for free to play players. And I stand by that, you know, I don't feel like the reason that we won is specifically because we had a higher rarity unit. Of course, as you can see, the recommended level is elite one level 50 and the highest level among our units, well, yeah, okay, we do have Hibiscus, who is Elite 1, level 55. But yes, other than her, from the original units, here in our Yato being another exception, yeah. And I guess Perfumer, who is level 60 also. But yes, anyway, more to my point. You know, most of the operators here are underleveled. Yeah, we also had, uh... Previously, we had Manticore on our team, who was not even Elite 1. So, our units are a little bit underleveled. Another deliberate choice that I made to make things a little bit more challenging. Though, given that it took, like, two and a half to three streams <laughs> to beat this one level, um, I think it might be time to level up our units again. Again, I do like a challenge, but... I don't want to be held that I don't want to be held back that much from making story progress. But yeah, because again, I was sort of prioritizing the challenge over the practicalities of you know actually, you know, doing this <laughs> of actually getting through the game at some point. And once we're sort of in the late game, later game, and we I don't know. There will be a time, I think, for challenges, and I might just have streams that are dedicated to doing more challenging game modes or more challenging runs of specific missions or just of missions in general. But yeah, I don't want to, again, be distracted by my desire for a challenge and thus be prevented from making story progress for like two weeks. But yeah. Using Yato, again, was a little bit of a compromise, a lot of a compromise that I made, uh, sort of out of desperation on that day. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the point of this is that I don't think 
the main reason that we succeeded is because we had, you know, just a simply, quote, better, unquote, unit. It's that we, you know, had a unit who was able to deal with the main threat quickly and efficiently. And there are other units that could have that were, I don't know, again, even just having our units stronger would have helped a lot. Another reason I was reluctant to level up any units while we were playing through the stage earlier is that I was a little bit concerned that I was a little bit concerned that I'd be dealing damage too quickly and that I might have more yeah, less time to recover from slug explosions since they'd be dying faster. But yeah, reviewing the strategy again a little bit. I also switched out uh, Glaucus for Jessica. Jessica slash Exusier. Yeah, as our drone destroyer. But yeah, I don't think that was necessarily... I don't think that was strictly necessary, really. Because, yeah, the main issue that we were having with uh, Jessica was that she would uh, die when slugs exploded here. But having our, having our uh, vanguards positioned more aggressively, prevented them from reaching there to explode. But yeah, having Yato allowed us to clear out these slugs so they wouldn't explode there. But yeah, and then again, having Fire Whistle there was a added line of defense. But yeah. If we've learned nothing else from this mission, we have learned that... <laughs> we have learned that Pon Cyrus is not only... not only builds the walls, she is the wall. But yes. Anyway, so I think uh, before we do anything else, I'm going to switch, switch, switch over the team once again. Didn't mean to cast us into darkness. But yeah, we're going to switch back to yeah, switch back to maybe not the exact operators we were using before, but at least some of them. Jessica. Just give your orders and I'll carry them out. But yes, Texas and Ponsiris are fine. There is a part of me that wants to switch out one of our vanguards for another one. Because I do want to try some other other vanguards. You know what? I think I'm going to... Well... I don't know. That's maybe not a... Maybe not a choice to make... Uh, without some further consideration. We'll see. Eh, you know what? Let's go for it. But yes, we're going to introduce you to another vanguard, Myrtle. There's a mission? I wanna go! There is, in fact, a mission. But yes, so Myrtle is a standard bearer vanguard. This means that she generates DP, or deployment points, a little bit faster, a little bit more, uh, yeah, faster, more efficiently than other vanguards. The uh, uh, Pioneer, I believe, is the one that we've been using previously. Yeah, Pioneer. Pon Cyrus and Texas were both Pioneer vanguards. But yes, so Myrtle, as a as a standard bearer or flag bearer, I'm not entirely sure. Standard bearer, there we go. But yeah, generates uh, DP over time when their skill is active rather than all at once. And they also uh, aren't able to block during that time. But the upside is generally that they that they generate a lot more DP. Uh, overall, their effective DP per second rate is much higher. Sit. But yes, so like I said, more or less just on a whim here, we're going to switch back to Myrtle. Or we're going to switch to Myrtle, not back. We haven't used her before. But yeah, I don't think we really need Glaucus on the team. Glaucus is a heavily specialized drone destroyer. But yes, she deals extra damage to drones, and her second skill specifically stuns drones, whereas it merely binds other units. Yeah, again, I chose Glaucus basically just because I was really worried about the drones. I don't think that with her level being what it is, she really... Yeah, I think that her, her talent allowed her to catch up to where Jessica and Exusier were, rather than let her exceed them in this role. But yeah, 
she did okay. You know, she did her job. There was really no complaint to be had there. But yes, um, Astesia. We had Astesia on our team previously. I'm over here, doctor. But yes, a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. You can probably hear it in my somewhat strange pronunciation every now and then. Yeah, part of me does want to keep Perfumer around, just to have a little bit more versatility in our medics. But we can always make adjustments as needed. Part of me wants to switch back to Manticore. At the very least, I want to... I don't want to have three medics on the team unless we need it. I don't think it's strictly necessary in most cases. But yeah, as for defenders, I think... I don't think we're going to need Gummy necessarily too much going forward. Um, yeah, another operator I attempted to use during some of my attempts was Kuora, whose name I've not heard pronounced before now that I think about it. But yes, Kuora did okay. It occurs to me that I don't have a lot of uh, I don't have a lot of defenders at very high levels. Blitz being a notable exception. And spot, I suppose. Yeah, most of our higher level defenders are ones who are... Yeah, most of our higher level defenders are ones who are more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Most of them are healing defenders. But yes. Um, I don't know. Let's hold off on making too many decisions until after we've had some more time to see what we need for the future, perhaps. But yeah, I do want to switch out either Hibiscus or Perfumer. Um, I think that Hibiscus is more generally useful. But yeah, as for what do we need, um, we have two guards. We can always use more guards, I suppose. Um, Fire Whistle's an okay defender. She's more offense-focused, of course. Though she'd be, she's good for backing up Pon Cyrus as needed. Yeah, Gummy, you know, is pretty, pretty strong. But yeah, it was the defense bonus from her second skill that really won us the day there. Allowed her to resist the slugs. I don't know what we're facing in the future, so we'll sort of... Uh, again, I can't make too many decisions until we know what we're facing in the next stage. So, anyway, before I forget... Since we beat the level, we get to see the story. <clears throat> We've had to fight through so many reunion just to reach this observation point. Huh? Is that... Madam Chen? Madam Chen! Why are there so many bodies? So many fallen reunion troops? Did Madam Chen do all this by herself? <laughs> it's you. I lost control of myself. Sorry. I might have fallen into the enemy's trap. No, it's fine. We're still on track with the original plan. It's just that... The one who appeared earlier... Was that... Tulula? No, it doesn't matter now. My gut feeling was wrong. This place doesn't look like some place that person would be anyway. Our mission still remains top priority. Without me, the LGD would struggle to carry out this search mission. Especially given this current situation. It's a lot more complicated than I expected. With things as they are, it's far too risky to push further alone. Madam Chen, we also hope that you can return to the LGD right away. The large amounts of originium residue left here by the catastrophe is very harmful to the uninfected. Even if you brought medication beforehand, it, wouldn't, it won't last long. What about you? Our mission is to protect lung men and eliminate threats. But the most important reason for us coming here is to rescue our operators. Roach Island has not turned its back on anyone. Therefore, we will continue to carry out our combat operations. I'll bring my squad to merge with yours, if the situation allows for it. That's great. Madam Chen, Rhodes Island can dispatch a squad to esc or, eh, escort you. No need. 
Adam Chen has a lot of pride, huh? Hmm? Doctor? Don't worry. I know. Roach Island will be fighting alone again. But it's too early to be feeling down. Come on, Jessica and the others are still waiting for us. Sit. But yes, with that, let's get into things. But yeah, so to give you an idea of how long I was spending practicing this, uh, this operation, so you can see up in the top here, there are 30 plans. You can use those to practice as we have many times before. But yes, and once those are, uh, yeah, you get 30 of them. I believe it's 30 per day and it refreshes at the start of each daily reset. But yes, you get 30 of them and I spent all 30 of them. <laughs> but yeah, at some point, at some point I accidentally started playing the mission through normally. But yeah, at about the same time that I had run out of the plans because I was out of them at the time that I realized that I had played through the mission like for real. But yeah, so again, it was interesting. <laughs> that was a that was a long session of playing Arknights and a very in, very engaged one. But yes, let's take a little look. But yes, that was definitely a quite a challenging mission there because yeah, this this mission has a lower recommended level. But yes, so not much to be gleaned from that. Honestly, I do feel like we maybe want to have another slower. So we might swap out Perfumer for a support operator. Hmm. Right. Anyway. You know, we haven't used Roberta in a while. I don't know if that's strictly a good idea, but I'd like to see Roberta. Roberta. Whichever one you feel like. Hmm? Where is this? We're getting close to the coordinates that Frostleaf sent us, but... What a disgusting smell. It's the stench of something burning. Where did Reunion lead us to? Watch out for the sneak attack! Darn it. I missed? Don't worry, we're safe here. Oh! What's wrong? He won't be able to answer you. What? From that building. Wait, is that... Rossleaf? Rossleaf, is that you? It is. I've taken care of the enemy. Sorry for making you worry, Amia. Ugh. Are you injured? Medic, hurry! No way. Why is your body all frostbitten? What happened to you? Don't worry. It's minor. Meteorite and Jessica are still in the main square. They should be safe for the time being, but it's hard to say how long that's going to last for. I managed to lure the enemy out, so Reunion hasn't found them yet. The enemy? Our cover hasn't been blown yet. So there's no need for concern yet. But he's going to come soon. Where are you hiding, little fox? Hurry and come out. Our game of hide and seek is about to come to an end. For every minute you stay hidden, I'll break another one of your friend's fingers. Do you still plan to keep running? Mephisto. He's bluffing. Don't take the bait. What is he doing? Reunion is moving. That little... We have to get in touch with Meteorite. Huh? Why can't I get through? We've clearly already crossed the contamination area. <sighs> Take a look at this. Your communicator? <gasps> it's frozen over. Did it get ruined by the frost? The Fisto is a nobody. There's something wandering in this city that is far more terrifying. 
something more terrifying? The Yetis. If we run into them, we'll be in serious trouble. Yetis? Are you talking about the Yeti Squadron? What are they exactly? I don't have time to explain right now, but they are the ones behind the sudden temperature drop, as well as our squad's injuries. It seems that the, like this squad has already established their territory within this city. The sky is getting darker. This is a good opportunity for us. We'll be able to cross this open area more easily. Let's go rescue Meteorite and Jessica first. I'll lead the way. What are those things in the main square? You can't really see. Are they statues of some sort? Their shapes are really strange. This smell makes me want to vomit. Over here. Don't get separated. Don't go look at those things. We have company. Let's take them out before they notice us. Operation 4-8. Never thought we'd see the day. Alright. So, upon Cyrus... Um, okay, so both of these spots are going to be relevant. Hmm. Hmm. So yes, I'm assuming that the big guys are probably going to... Well, okay, yes, I was going to say, I assume that they are probably going to halt. And indeed they did. Um, if we place Jessica here, she can start shooting right away. Of course, she's going to prioritize the closer enemies. So that's less than ideal, but it is what it is. But yes, we won't be able to use Myrtle's skill right away, unless... But yes, so how do we want to swing this? If we're going to be seeing... Hmm. Yes, that's one of their arts fighters, isn't it? But yes, if we're going to be seeing high defense units up top, that's probably where we're going to want to deploy our Asters and Astesia. But yes, anywhere is somewhere where we're going to want to deploy uh, a medic so that Frostleaf is not destroyed immediately. Frostleaf doesn't have any resistance, which is a little bit of a problem for us, but, you know. If we... Hmm, Fire Whistle might not be a great choice for this position or for this mission, maybe. But yes, I feel like we're going to want medics right away, probably. Hmm. Let's take them all out. But yes, we are doing okay. Hang in there, I'm coming. Ponsiris might not have been the best. Ooh, that's a caster. Arts yeah. chains. Oh, interesting. So yes, this might not have been necessarily the best place to deploy Ponsiris, because now we're not going to be able to make use of her. Oh dear. Alright, well. So, we're probably going to want to... Oh, dear. Um, I don't like what's happening. So, I really don't like what's happening. Hmm. Roberta will have to be deployed somewhere. I'm not sure where would be a good place, to be honest. Did we? We didn't switch Gummy over to her other skill, did we? Hmm. So yes, now we're not going to have quite as much healing as I would like. Hmm. Um. Almost does that. Um. We. I don't know that we. I don't know that we got this. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the defense isn't going to help Gummy survive. But the healing will be something. Um, Gummy has been disabled, which is not great. Um, on Cyrus is living. Come on, get it together. Yes, Gummy is in a bad way. And now we're getting enemies leaking through. So. Okay. Hang in there, I'm coming. All right. So I don't think we're going to win this one. So let's uh, wrap up here. 
and think this through a little bit. But yes. So, there we had issues with the butchers and whatnot. I don't know that we... Did we see an armed militant? Maybe. But yes, we had issues with these units sort of piling up. We didn't quite have the damage on the... Uh, didn't quite have damage on the field. Um, but yeah, I think that's our main issue. We needed to have more ability to... Yeah, we needed to have our units dealing damage faster, basically. But yes, so the elite casters, was it? Uh, Sarcas casters. Um, so yes, so they can disable our units, which is not good. I dislike that. Sad. But yes, so I'm not 100% sure how to deal with that. I don't know if there is a way to deal with that outside of killing them. Um, hmm. So yes, what do we want to do? I feel like... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This might also be a situation where a rapid redeploy operator could be useful to bait them into using that attack. Um, so of course, I don't know the cooldown on it necessarily. I don't want to look it up too readily, you know. One thing I've noticed is I'm dropping a lot of frames this evening. Um, so yes. So definitely what we've got going for us uh, didn't work. So we do need to revise the strategy a little bit. I think we might have been a little bit too quick to dismiss Perfumer. But yeah, having the ability to heal multiple units at a time would probably have been good there. Yes, once again, I have forgotten the movie, but, you know, it is what it is. We can fix it in post. But yes, Perfumer versus Telopsis, I don't know if there's going to be a noticeable performance difference. But yes, Roberta. Roberta could have been good there, I think. Yes, the modelers. Because, yeah, the modelers give a pretty significant defense increase. Yeah, plus 23% defense is not, uh, yeah, not anything to sneeze at. Yeah, Roberta actually has pretty, pretty good defense in general. But yes, comparable to, but not exceeding some of our tougher defenders. Probably on par with that of Fire Whistle, to be honest. Yeah, she actually, I think, yeah, straight up she has more defense than Fire Whistle. Fire Whistle also has Flexible Fighter, which would tip the scales in her favor, I think, but... Let's see. Yeah, so the Modelers... We will need this, the second skill in order to be able to use Modelers more. But yes, again, we might be in a we might be in a situation where in order to proceed efficiently, I might just want to have to or I might just have to level up my units a little bit. Unthinkable as that may be. Um, yeah, Pon Cyrus's high defense doesn't really do much for her against casters. It does nothing for her against casters. Myrtle did fine. No complaints here. You know, she did her job. Um, not much to be said about it. But yes, Meteorite was too exposed. I didn't expect the ranged units to appear basically at all. Really having Meteorite in general probably would have been a real game changer there. But yes, Gummy isn't going to need that much defense, or she's not going to need the situational defense buff of her second skill. So I think the first skill would be better on her. Frostleaf is fine. We didn't have a chance to see Jessica do anything, so we don't know if we need to do anything with her. So yes. I think we'll give this another one or two attempts. Our way. 
Okay, yeah, so Stasia was doing okay, but she could have been doing better. Yes, Perfumer would probably be good, and we're probably going to want to deploy Perfumer relatively soon. Yes, we need a... No, actually, we might not need a guard right away, actually. I won't be afraid. Yes, I do want to deploy our medics promptly, though. On Cyrus, um... Okay, okay. Uh, do we want to... I suppose we might as well. Uh, Frostleaf will do just fine in her position, I think. But yes, we might want to... We're almost certainly going to want to, I suppose, actually. But uh, we're probably going to want to switch out. We don't need to use Perfumer's skill just yet, I don't think. Um... I think we will deploy Meteorite thusly. Um, Myrtle is fine. Jessica... Nope, that's not Jessica. Jessica would probably be okay here. Yes, we're doing just fine on healing right now. Ideally, we want defense now, I think. Myrtle can probably be switched out soon, though I don't know really who would be a good option to swap her out with. Probably Gummy, I suppose. Actually, now that I think about it, could we use Fire Whistle? We, could, we certainly could use Fire Whistle, whether or not... Mm, um, okay. I don't like this. So yes, one thing I was thinking was maybe that maybe attacking the uh, Sarcas caster would prevent them from doing that, but uh, it seems that that is not the case. And yeah, they can just kind of they can just kind of do that. Hmm. Um, we need more healing. Because yes, Astesia is taking damage faster than I'd like. Which is to say, at all, really, but, you know, it is what it is. Please kill. Um, I think it might be... Do we only get one Arts Chain out of each caster, actually? If so... Yeah, it looks like it. Yes, okay, so we're fine on that, I think. We might... Hmm, I'm a little... No, it's fine, it's fine. I was worried for a second that Astesia might be... Might start taking more damage than I'd like. Um, but no, she is fine. Because, yeah, she's not blocking enough units to have that be a concern. Um, so yes. Frostleaf isn't going to... No, she's going to be chained again soon, okay. Yes, I don't want her skill to be up while she's chained, ideally. But yes, I think we might... We might have this, actually. Hmm, might. Um, yes, we might have this. Um, we might not. Well, Pawn Cyrus is tough. She can endure a lot. Um, please kill. Um, fire Whistle's fine as she is. Okay, I think we're, we're okay. We've got this. But yes. Yeah, what I was thinking there was if we want to do this, and we will have to do this again because this is a practice run, but yeah, if we do this again, we're probably going to want to switch Fire Whistle over to her other skill so that she has a little bit higher DPS. But yeah, the sort of situational bonus that she gets, or the... Uh, very intermittent bonus that she gets from using her first skill, or from her second skill. Probably isn't what we need right now. I mean, we won, so it can't have been that bad, but... It'd be a little bit more elegant otherwise, I think. Sit. But yes. Again, we won, so I can't complain. I suppose I can, but I won't. Not too much, anyway. But yeah, Astesia... 
Resistance aside probably wasn't the best option to deal with that caster, but it's not like we had a whole lot else to do. Crossleaf really, uh, really put in the work there. But yes. I suppose, yeah, if we... You know, I was going to say, if we play this level again and win, we will need to do another cutscene. And I'm a... I don't know, a little bit tired. But I guess we can just not... <laughs> we can just skip the cutscene and start it next time, I suppose. Alright, I don't feel like there's any need to place Myrtle anywhere differently from where we had her before. Yeah, Ponsiris did just fine. Yes, no complaints with her. Yes, Myrtle, use Myrtle skill as soon as possible so that the by the time the reunion goon gets to us, we won't be... We won't have too many issues. But yeah, everyone was deployed just fine, so I really don't need to worry too much about anything at all. Alright. Face Frostleaf down. I briefly considered facing her to the right to be able to cover a little bit more. But I don't think that would be useful or beneficial to us. But yes. How do... Yeah, I guess, again, there's not too much... Uh, not too much refinement that needs to be done. Basically, I just needed to come up with a strategy that worked, and uh, it just worked. But yes, we've got our healing. We've got our damage dealing. Um, I think we want to, yeah, we want to place Jessica more forward. So yes. So, we will want Astesia. That was probably not necessary, but it happened, so it is what it is. But yes, Myrtle won't be necessary for much longer. I guess she's not really all that necessary right now, but she'll be swapped out soon, is what I mean to say. Yeah, actually, she'll probably be swapped out now. Yep. I didn't switch over Fire Whistle skill like I was thinking of, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are going to lose uptime on the skill. Yeah, and we're not going to have quite as much DPS as we perhaps could have out of... Yeah, we're not going to have quite as much as we could have out of uh, Fire Whistle, but, you know, it is what it is. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, we won, so, you know. <laughs> but yes. Ideally, we'll basically have one anyway, so. We can do a little bit more damage, I suppose, as these enemies come closer. I don't know if the areas of fire stack. Because they can definitely overlap, but I don't know if they stack. But yes, Astesia is doing just fine. She's about to have a bunch of enemies con converge upon her. Not too, too bad. Yeah, everything is going okay. But yes, the mission is turning out just as I like it. But yes. Um, yeah, I guess there's not much else to say at this point. But yeah, we're going to see... Yeah, did she get... Can she get bound twice? No, it's just easy who gets bound again, right. So well, I guess that might have just been a proximity thing. But yes, this is a little bit sketchy, but again, Pon Cyrus is the wall, so she can handle it. But yes, um, everything is fine. Pon Cyrus is taking more damage than I'd like, but she's getting consistent healing, including some quite high healing from Hibiscus, so we're doing okay. But yes, the enemy will soon be within Frostleaf's range. I don't think they'll survive long enough that uh, I will need maximum uptime on this skill. But yes, we don't need to worry too much about efficiency. But yes, Ponsiris 
doesn't really need to be here if she's not going to contribute much more. Um, Myrtle can apply a little bit more damage, as can Amia. Crossleaf uh, can't from her vantage point. Let's deploy... Yeah, let's deploy Roberta just to make things a little bit uh, a little bit more challenging for this fellow. There we go. Efficiency. I guess that didn't take so long. <clears throat> I know it's you behind there. Hold your fire. Look who I brought. Meteorite, it's us. Who? Is that Amia? Amia! Amia, you really came! It's so good to see you. But you shouldn't have come. This whole thing is one big trap. It wasn't worth it for you to come to our rescue. This was the wrong decision. There's no point in blaming her now. Besides, even if everyone else doesn't think we can be you can be rescued, Amia would still not give up on you. I wasn't blaming her, it's just that <sighs> Sorry, Amia. It's okay. I'm just glad to see that you're all still safe. Amia. But what happened to Jessica? Uh, she's still in shock. Originally, I wanted to wait for her to get better, but it seems like she's been traumatized. Jessica, are you okay? This is all I can do. Rossleaf, do me a favor. Place her hands on her, my arm and hold her fingers tight. Sure thing. Good. <laughs> Amia! Hmm. Might want to do a little bit of a photosensitivity warning there. I'm fine. It's just... Mm. Such deep sorrow. It's a bit vague, but... Jessica! It's fine now. You have to be strong, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah? I'm here. Amia. Amia. There, there. Everything will be okay. Jessica, are you alright? Amia, what was I... I'm so sorry. I didn't think... I didn't think that... It's fine now. Those... Those... Ugh. I know what it's like. Yes, I have also experienced it. <clears throat> Wanting to run, but your legs not moving. Wanting to scream, but your voice not coming out. I understand what you've been through, Jessica. I've been there too. Try standing up. You don't need to be afraid anymore. Because we're all together now. You're not alone. We'll always be there for you. Let's go back to Rhodes Island together. Franka and Liskarm are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Amia, you... What did you do just now? Shh. Keep it a secret from Dr. Calcite. Looking after everyone's health is my greatest motivation. Oh, yes, very good, very good. A little bit shaky there. Ooh. Hmm. Alright, so we've got another mission here. I feel like we're going to see more Elite Sarcas casters. I don't know that I want to do another... Yeah, I don't know that I want to do another mission. It's a little bit of a short one, but I said it was going to be short, so... <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. You're not? Hmm... I don't know. I do want to keep streaming because we didn't stream throughout the rest of this week, but yeah, I don't want to start writing checks that uh, I cannot cash. So 
it might be best, as I as I said, to you know go with the time that I had planned on and get some rest. Besides, if I'm dropping a lot of frames, this is probably not a great viewing experience for those of us live on Twitch anyway. So, with that, I think we're going to wrap up for the day, as planned. Probably could have gone a little bit longer, but it would be, it's hard to estimate how much longer I would need to go if I did that mission. Again, we could always quit in the middle of it whenever we needed to, but... <laughs> Let's see, what do we want to do tonight? Who do we want to see? Oh yes, I guess, as always, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. Yes, if not, I can find a target on my own. Um, but yeah, I guess while we're here, we'll go over business. So, tonight has been Arc Nights. Next week, Wednesday, 8.30 p.m., we, will, we can expect some more Arc Nights. And then next Friday, 9 at 9 p.m., we can expect 9 p.m. Central. I don't expect to be in a different time zone, but, you know, it is what it is. But yes, 9 p.m. Central, we can expect more Arc Nights. But yes, I will be out of the house. I will be out of the house, and I don't know 100% how the internet is going to be, but I will be able to bring my laptop with me, and I can stream off of that. So assuming that I don't forget to get my stream set up, set up on my laptop, because I do... Yeah, I do stream off of my desktop. Yeah, so I would need to get some things transferred over, change some settings and whatnot. It's currently just configured for, uh, yeah, configured for a little bit of recording and for, yeah, I use it as sort of a, uh, as the thing that I connect my capture card to, basically. Yeah, I play my games on my laptop and then I do the rest of the streaming on the desktop. But this not being a terribly demanding game, I'm confident we can do all of them off of one computer without any real issues. Again, all I need to do is make sure everything is set up for that. Of course, I will be back in town on Saturday, so we might have another Saturday stream next week, actually. That would, yeah, that might be, that might be better. Because yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to get all my audio set up in quite the same way, being in a different place with, you know, different settings, different physical objects to attach my microphone to. But yeah, yeah, it might be, let's say Saturday, let's say Saturday, that way it'll be more convenient for me and probably, you know, won't require too much additional effort. But yes, so, all of that being said, Looks like we don't have any raid suggestions. So I think we will go and drop by, uh, yeah, I think tonight we will go and drop by Cole. Cole M. the Golem. Yeah, playing Hollow Justice, I think. Yeah. Uh, Cole has been going through the Ace Attorney series with some, uh, friends doing a, uh, <coughs> reading through it. Yeah. And, uh, I'm seeing, I think, uh, some familiar faces there. Some other folks that we uh, visit from time to time. <clears throat> yes, I think I made the right call because my voice is starting to give out on me. So, let us get this uh, raid set up. Probably not going to stick around for too long because I do want to play the Ace Attorney series on my own. Um, yeah, so I don't want to get too many spoilers. So yes, Paul and the Golem. Old Golem VTuber. Ba -bum. So yes, the the raid is set up. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, with that, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>